If you're building a serious street performer, putting power to the pavement is a prime concern. A well-built rear end plays a vital role in making sure that happens. For our Project Swinger, a 1971 Nova powered by a GM LS3 crate engine, we decided to replace the tired old Chevy 10 bolt with something with a little more beef to it. We chose a Ford 9-inch style rear end built by Curry Enterprises a top rear end manufacturer with headquarters in Anaheim, California, who has been building performance rear ends for over 30 years. Curry is well known for their work in everything from drag racing to rock crawlers, so it was no surprise they were able to put together a durable, cost-effective 9-inch rear end package for our Nova that will take the power of the LS3 and work perfectly with our air ride suspension. Our Curry 9-inch came shipped UPS in two very well-packed boxes, with the housing and axles and the centre section in a nice plastic case. We started our build with the Curry 9-inch housing, a brand new manufactured housing that features a stronger than stock design with brand new axle tubes. While we could have found a used 9-inch housing, the quality and performance improvements of the new 9-inch housing make the small extra cost well worth it. At Curry, each rear end housing is custom built to your specific applications, and Curry has most of the sizings for almost all domestic muscle cars. Curry sized our rear end width based on the stock rear end width of the X Body Nova platform. Because the Air Ride Street Challenge Kit utilises the stock leaf spring mounting points, Curry included and welded the brackets needed to mount the housing to our suspension. The third member studs came pre-installed and the gasket, nuts and washers needed to install the third member were included as well. All we had to do was assemble it. After laying down a quick line of sealant and the supplied gasket, our housing was ready to have the Curry third member bolted in. Curry supplied a Detroit Eaton True Track worm gear style posi differential and a 3.7 gear, all set up inside the Curry 9 Plus nodular iron sportsman case. Assembled complete with bearings and seals, the Curry 9 Plus centre section is going to be perfect for our autocross, street and light road racing application. Axles were the last thing the Curry 9 inch needed before we bolted it up into the Nova. Curry provided their performance axle package for use with our 9 inch rear end. We chose a standard Chevy 5 lug pattern with 7 16 studs to work with our SSBC brakes and forged line wheels. The Curry new 31 spline forged alloy axle shafts slid right into the 9 inch housing and mated up with the 9 plus third member. The axles were mounted to the housing using the supplied Curry retainer plate. As you can see here, one of the features of the Curry axles is this access hole that allows the use of a ratchet to firmly secure the axles to the housing and prevent rounding off the bolts using a crescent wrench. After a quick check to make sure the rear end was spinning freely, we went ahead and rolled the now complete Curry 9 inch rear end under our Nova. The installation went smoothly as Air Ride's Street Challenge kit was already installed and came with mounting tabs that we welded to the top of the rear end. Once that was completed, the rear end simply bolted right in thanks to the Curry brackets and Air Ride mounting tabs. In less than a few hours, we wrapped up our complete build of the Curry 9 inch and had it installed on our Nova. Now we should have no problem putting down the 480 plus horsepower from the GM Performance Parts LS3. Stay tuned and follow along with our project as the next step for Project Swinger will be mocking up the LS3 and manual transmission.